to our at home training class. I want you to take a look around you before we start and make sure you have your designated training space at home and you're not going to accidentally kick or stub your toe on the coffee table or the dresser or something like that. Make sure you have plenty of room to move and you're ready to go. You have your space? Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in Seiza. Everybody say Seiza. Seiza means kneel and what? Focus. Good job. Kneel and focus. Your hands should be on your thighs. You're sitting up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Very good. Our first one is our pop-up. We got to pop up together. Remember, your feet have to land together at the same time, not right and left. One, two, but at the exact same time. Jump up, feet land together. Ready? Use your hands. Let's try it together. Throw them up nice and high to the ceiling and pop your feet out underneath you. Let's do it again. Here we go. Nice and fast this time. Sit up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in and out through the nose. Excuse me, out through the mouth. Ready? Hands, go. Throw them up, pop up, and stand up nice and tall. Let's do it one more time together. Here we go. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth, pop up together on three. Ready, set, go! You didn't go, did you? I didn't say three, I'm testing your focus. Try one more time, ready? One, two, three! There's your pop up and you're ready for ninja class. Let's get to it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ninjas, here we go. If you notice my shirt changed, don't worry about that. It's a ninja trick. I'll teach you how to do it when you're a little bit more advanced. Ladies and gentlemen, we're moving on to our ski jumps. Everybody say, ski jumps. Ski jumps are super important because you're gonna get fast feet and great landing balance, which every ninja must have. On our ski jumps, we're gonna go forward and back like last class, except we're gonna step it up a notch today and make it a little bit more challenging. So let's warm up really quick. Whatever it is, you're hopping over the pillow or something more clever that mom and dad helped you get. Let's do it, feet together, and remember, land, feet together. You don't wanna land right, left, or left, right. You wanna have perfect balance and stick the landing. Here we go, forwards, ready, one. Boom, good landing, my hands are ready, my knees are bent. Let's go right back, boom, nice. Ready, set, forward, and back. That's the one, here we go, let's do one full back, forward and back, ready, set, go. One and two. I like it. Keep your knees bent. Let's do it again. Everybody say a little bit faster. Here it is. Ski jump. One, two. Ooh, that was good, but I think you're a little quicker. Here we go. Ready, set, go. One, two. Last one. Everybody say super fast. You got it. Ready, set, go. One, two. That's it. You got it, ladies and gentlemen. Now here's what we're going to do. And just on our ski jumps. When we go forward, we're also going to move a little bit to the side. So on my ski jump forward, I go side just a little bit. And when I go back, I'm going to do the same. And I'm moving laterally forward and backwards. And I'm at the end. Whatever your distance is that you're jumping over, you want to make sure you can get four ski jumps in. So here we go. Moving back the other direction. Go forward, back, forward, just like that, I like it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's do it a little quicker. Everybody say, ski jumps. Go one, two, one, two. Ooh, I like it. If you have a balance check, you kind of get off, just regain it really quick and move on. Let's go the other direction. Ready, one, two. One, two. Ooh, I had a little balance check at the front, but I kept moving and I regained my balance with my momentum. Let's do it together. Ready? Go. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ooh, not bad. Now, if you feel your toes catching, whatever you're jumping over, that means you're getting a little lazy. Make sure you pick up your feet, pull your knees up, and ski jump. A little faster. Ready? Set. Go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Take a quick second, good deep breath in the nose, out through the mouth. One more time on your own, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Everybody say, 
a little bit faster. Got it. Let's do four together. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four. A little bit faster. Ready, go. One, two, three, and four. Nice job. On your own. All the way down. All the way back. That would be eight total. Ready, set, go. Here we go, get ready, and two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and six, go, one, two, five, four, five, six, woo, get a quick drink of water, and come on back, remember, when you get your sip, Couple of short sips. Don't gu guzzle the whole thing. Very good. You never want water sloshing around in your tummy. You want a couple short sips. Stay hydrated and we'll move on. Right on. Take a deep breath in and exhale. We're going to do ski jumps, building blocks. Ready? Everybody say building blocks. We're going to build them. Ready? One. One. Two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, ah, four. Here we go, we're getting serious. Five on your own, go. One, six, one, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You guys are awesome if you hung in there. Okay, ninjas, what ninja technique did we learn last week? We learned the first three moves. One, two, three. It's a prancing jaguar. Prancing jaguar. In the wild, jaguars like to follow whoever their prey is. And they pounce on top of them from behind without them even knowing. So that's why it's called pouncing jaguar. Now, before we get to the pounce, I want to practice those first three moves. If the first three moves are not 100% correct, you don't even have to think about them, then the pounce is going to be a difficult move. So we got to make sure we got all three down. Remember, I'm going to turn so that you can see me. I'm facing the same direction, hands up. And when your hands are up, you put one foot back. The front hand is just a little higher than the back hand, but it never blocks your what? Your vision. Exactly. Keep it up and don't block your eyes. From here. Let me turn around. We're going to throw the front hand first. Palm one, palm two, and then palm three is that hooking palm. Now remember, when you're doing your palm, you want to push the palm part of the hand out and do what with your fingers? Curl them back. You've got to pull them back as far as you can without actually grabbing them with the other hand. Push your palm forward. Push your palm forward and push your palm forward so you don't accidentally crunch your fingers. Here we go. Prancing Jaguar. Hands are up, one foot's back, and I'm ready to go. Palm one, palm two, and the palm three is the hooking palm that comes around the side. Now you'll notice my body moves a little different when I do the hooking palm. My hips really open up and turn this way. I'm exaggerating a little bit so you can see me, but in the technique you will, boom, move your hips to the side. So one, two, straight, and the third one hooks around. Oh, prancing jaguar. Ladies and gentlemen, let me face the side and let's do it together. Go one, go two, and hook three. Then you're ready for the next move. Hands are up, go one, go two, and three. That's your prancing jaguar. Here we go. Step back, hands up, go one, two, and three, there's your pouncing jaguar. Hands are up, let's do it again. Go one, two, three. There's your hooking palm that comes around. Ready? Step back with your hands up when I say, ready? Go. Ah, oh, you could do a little faster. Do it again, ready? Set, go. Hands are up, one more time, get ready, get set. Uh, I hope I didn't trick you on that one. Ready, go. Hands are up, go palm one, palm two, and hook around, boom. There's your third one. Everybody say, pouncing jaguar. You got it. Here we go. Step back, hands up. Go one, two, and three. Hook around. Do it again a little faster. Everybody say faster. 
Let's do it together. Ready, set, step back. One, two, and three. Boom, again, ready. Step back, one. Palm, palm, and the hook. You got it. Let's put them all together in one move. Ready? Step back, hands up. Go one, two, three. Bam, just like that, and get ready to go again. Nice and relaxed, ready, set, go. Everybody say, a little faster. Do it with me. Ready, set, go! One, two, three! Do it again, ready? Make sure your paw goes out, not your fingers lazily. Go! One, two, three! That's it, ready? A little faster, set, go! Boom, 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 boom! I'm ready. Go! Ready. Get set! Go! One, two, three! Everybody say, pouncing jaguar. That's it. Do it two times on your own. You got it. Hello, my ninjas. Everybody say balance blocks. Balance blocks, these are our obstacles for today, and I have them set up in a linear fashion, just like a balance beam, except they're snaking a little left, a little right. Go ahead and set yours up in a similar fashion. And my starting block is right here for both feet. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Go ahead and hop on there for a warm up, one foot in front of the other. This is where you want to notice when we speed up, where are you going to have the most trouble? That's what I'm looking for when I warm up. So this is pretty easy. Right here, this turn is a little tight. So if I'm going to go too fast, that's where I'm probably going to fall off. So now that I know that, I want to pay close attention when I get there and have good focus. Everybody say, I'm focused. Oh, did you get the eyes? Did you get the voice? Say, I'm focused. Let's go. Moving ahead, moving ahead. Here's my tough spot. One, two, three. It felt pretty good there, but I did have a little balance check. As you noticed, I looked like an airplane. Here we go. Let's go back. Nice. I love it, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready to speed up? Everybody say, a little faster. Ready, set, go. Nice. I like that one. I felt really good. I think I could kick it up just a little bit more. Move. Oh, I had to slow down. Did you notice? I really had to slow down there. So... Let's do it again. This time I'm going to start a little bit faster. I'm going to have a little bit better focus in the middle. Get ready. Set. Go. Yeah, I definitely have to slow down there. Let's do it again. It's a little tougher going this direction for me. I'm not sure why. Go. Oh, that felt good. Did that look good to you? I hope you're doing just as well as I am. This time, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Speed up to level three. Everybody say level three. Let's speed up, and at the end, don't step off. Stay on. Ready? Go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, I lost it. Try to stay on and turn around. Go. Not bad. Let's do it one more time, just like that, and I'll try to get it right this time. Let's go, fast. Move, 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 you can see I'm shuffling sideways. There you go. Join me if you haven't already. And if you step off, just get right back on. All right. Definitely a little tougher. Let's do it again, going that direction. Face the same way. This time my other foot is leading. Woo! That shuffle is a little tough. Let's do it again. Are you ready? Go, ninja! Sideways, sideways, sideways. Watch where you're going. Focus.
just one step ahead. That was a good one. Let's do it again. A little faster. Ready? Set. Go. Oh, not too fast. Not too fast. I'm losing it. Right back and back on. All right. Not bad. That's definitely tougher. Let's do it one time on our own. All the way to forward and all the way back without stepping off. Let's go. Begin! Go faster. There's my step on. Stay on, stay on. Stop, 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 stop. Back. Ah, don't lose it. Ah, right at the end, I lost it just a little bit. Right on, ninjas. I hope you did well on that one. It's definitely tougher. You're welcome to pause and do it two or three more times on your own. Perfect. Oh, and right when I say that, I lose it. Come on, is it the Chris? Get there, get there. All right. Woo. That's tough. I'm going to try one more time facing the other way. Just to see. That is a tough one. Let's go back. <laughs> Good effort. All right, ninjas. I'll see you in the next one. Good training today. All right, my ninjas. You have made it to the sword evasion part of class today. We're going to practice the three moves we learned last class. Let's review. Move number one is called slide to the side. Do it again with me. Here we go. Ready? Step out and then slide the other foot. Good. Other way. Step out and slide to the side. Put it together on your own. Ready? Go. Nice. Make sure you don't move fast and then leave that foot coming in slow. That's when I'm going to catch you at the bottom of the swing. So make sure you slide to the side and tuck that foot in. One more. Ready? Go. Next is the duck. When the sword swings sideways, you want to make sure to duck underneath. Bend your knees, not your, not your back. You don't want to bend over like this where you can't see me. Bend your knees, keep your eyes on me, and you'll be faster and better. Here we go. Ready? Duck. Again. Duck. Ooh, that was a fast one. Last one. Ready? Duck. You got it. Slide to the side. Slide to the side. Duck underneath. The last one we learned was the, the jump. You got it. Make sure when you jump, your knees come up. Don't actually hit your knees. Keep your hands up, but pull your knees up. Because if your toe's hanging down, I might accidentally catch it and you'd lose a leg. So here we go. Ready? Jump. You got it. Bend your knees. Go. Nice. Ready? Slide to the side. Slide to the other side. Duck underneath. And jump. That's our sword evasion. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Everybody say, let's go. Slide to the side. Back on your spot. Slide to the other side. Right back on home base. You got to duck. Again, duck underneath. And here's our jump. Jump. Slide to the side. Slide to the side. Duck underneath, jump, jump, duck underneath, slide to the side, you got it, slide to the side, duck underneath, jump, 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 duck underneath, slide to the side, slide to the side, slide to the side, duck underneath, duck, jump, duck, slide, slide, Duck, jump, duck, jump, duck, jump, side to the side, side to the side, duck underneath, jump, jump, duck underneath, and slide to the side. That is sword evasion. If you got all three of those moves really good, you stayed with me as I sped up, you're ready to learn the fourth ninja move for sword evasion. Fantastic job. If you need a little more practice, don't hesitate to hit rewind, and let's do it again together. Woohoo! Awesome.
awesome class today, you guys. I'm sweating. I hope you had a great time. I had fun teaching you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's close class the right way. Everybody come in nice and close. Kneel down together. Sit up nice and tall and start to slow your breathing. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And out through your mouth. Very good. Do it one more time on your own. Excellent. Did you guys have fun today? So what I want you to do is, whoever's helping you out at home, mom, dad, both of them, doesn't matter. Make sure you go to them right after we're done here. You do three things. Number one, you tell them thank you for having Sensei Chris at the house. Number two, tell them what your favorite part of class was today. And number three, you show them what your favorite part was and you want to show them all the time what you're learning in class with me. That will make them feel good about keeping you in class. So remember, whoever's helping you out, thank them. Thank you for letting Sensei Chris teach me in the living room, mom or dad, or wherever it is. This is my favorite part of class today, and let me show you what it looks like. Can everybody do that? Everybody say yes! And let's ninja close. Pop up on three. Ready? One, two, three! Ooh, very nice pop up. Bring it in nice and close. Low and slow. Ninja, 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 and Sasuke! I'll see you next class.